for many Nigerians. Access to decent and affordable housing remains a critical challenge, sometimes occasioned by the rise in rural urban migration. According to the International Human Rights Commission, more than 28 million Nigerians lack access to decent and affordable housing, and this is in tandem with the estimate of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, which projected that Nigeria requires at least 28 million housing units to close the housing gap. The challenge has grown progressively, from 7 million housing units in 1991 to 12 million in 2007, 14 million in 2010, and subsequently, 28 million housing units in 2022. The combination of the growing urban population, lack of efficient mortgage system, rising poverty, construction costs, high inflation, declining household income have made access to decent and affordable housing difficult for many Nigerians. Unhappy about the situation, the Federal House of Representative Auto Committee on our remittance of National Housing Form is here on a fact-finding mission led by the chairman, Dapchom Bagas. Our workers and Nigerians, uh, God forbid that tomorrow uh, the Nigerian workers will now be in IDPs and when they retire, uh, they are now struggling to pay uh, house rents. Governor Peter Mba, who underscores the importance of providing affordable housing to every Nigerian, revealed the plans of his administration to construct 20,000 housing units for workers in Enugu State. Our plan is to between now and the next one we to do at least 20,000 mass housing so that our workers will have access to houses upon retirement. The committee expressed worry over delay or no remittance of 2.5% deductible form from the state and local government area workers' salaries by many states in Nigeria. The essence of this uh, committee doing this job is, it, is because we want to reduce corruption. Ours is for now to check what has been remitted and if truly uh, the utilization is what is according to what is in the book. The committee members say the oversight function will afford them the opportunity to evaluate compliance, identify challenges, and receive suggestions that will form part of their resolutions. Bamidele Ajayi, TVC News, Enogun.